let's start. Uh, so, last time we we worked on the schematic, right? This mm -hmm. time it's gonna be layout. It's a uh, it's much like Magic, but uh, this software is is graphical. It has everything from menus, and so it it, it, it should be much more familiar with you. Uh, also, we're gonna be using. Uh, 45 nanometer this time instead of 65 because it's much easier to do layout in in this process because we have a an educational process 45 it's not manufacturable so if you guys want to manufacture your your chip your project for this semester you can't because it's 45 nanometer you have to do it on the 65 but the advantage is the layout is is easier than in 65 okay so First you see SH and then we go to the directory you want. Six two and then it's cat setup for <coughs> forty five. Um you have to add a line to your dot tsh dot tsh rc file. I'll send you this instruction in an email. But after we add that line, you can do cat setup 45 and then the usual virtuoso. This is a newer version of Cadence here in 45 nanometer. It looks better, it's more modern. We have two versions already installed. So. Okay, so you start the same way you start with a uh, with, uh, schematic. If you already have a library, you don't need to, but uh, you should create a library for the first time. Let's call it uh, lab2. And this is very important here, you have to, at to attach it to the 45 nanometer library we have, which is NCSU, it's North Carolina State University uh, PDK. Okay, after we do that, we have the library here. Sorry, it's here. And we can create a new cell. Since we want layout, we'll just leave layout here and here, call it. Uh, Sell my inverter. Okay. And this is the window where we edit our layout in. It's very similar to the schematic window. Uh, so here Instead of 45, we actually used 50 nanometer. I don't know why, but they rounded to 50 from 45. So what should lambda be here? If it's 50? 25. Yeah, it's 25. Okay, so if you see these dots here, mm -hmm. each dot, each, the difference between uh, each, yeah, each small dot is one lambda. So here it's... Uh, if you see the X on the on the top changing over here, it's zero. Over here, it's uh. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not. It's not tuned yet. Uh, how come? <coughs> no, it's not tuned. This short should this should already be set. Uh, I don't know why it wasn't here. I'll fix it later. But it should be like that. Oh, 
Ok. So now it's fixed. Okay, it's a uh, big dot. Okay, so now that I've fixed it, the difference between two small dots is 25 nanometer. So the channel should should be two dots. Okay. So what you do here to, to start drawing is that you start with a rectangle. You do most mostly you do everything with a rectangle. So you do create shape rectangle or more easily you just press R. Now you should always keep an eye on this corner of the screen. It always tells you uh, what what you're doing right now. For instance right now I'm in rectangle mode. As long as I'm in rectangle mode this will tell me here that, that I am. I pick my layer from here after I press R. So first, let me let me start with the uh, here. It's it's different process, different layers than what you're used to in Magic. Mm -hmm. So have to get used to it again. So let's start with the N well. By the <coughs> way, we're only using the drawing layer DRW. For each layer, you have drawing and net. We're not using the net. We're using the drawing. Net is for uh, for designating uh, like the names of the of the pins, but even there we're not using it. So just using drawing. So start with N well. First corner of the rectangle. Let's just make it big, and then we can chop off what we don't need. And then let me press on P well. Draw the second rectangle. And now let me make the channel using polysilicon. The colors are messed up on that. It's showing correctly on my screen, but uh, for some reason it's messed up there. Anyway, imagine. Each row has its own <coughs> color. Has its own what? Color. Yeah, there. Are one one of them is green. The other is. Uh, you'll see it in the video when I post it on YouTube. So don't worry. Okay. Notice I'm still in rectangle mode, even though I didn't press anything. So in the end well, what should I put? P diffusion, right? That's called here P implant. So that's what I put here P implant. It should be uh, <coughs> the minimum here. Okay, let me do the N mass first. So we said that the, it should be. Four lambda minimum, right? If you remember from magic, yeah. it should be the minimum is two times the length. So here it should be four small dots. So this is the minimum we can do for the for the n mos or the p mos. It should be Twice. eight times. So this is four, this is five, and this is eight. Okay. Here's how it looks like so far. Now this is not enough to create the diffusion in 45 nanometer. 
you should also designate the area as active that's why we put an active layer above here and also an active layer here so active plus p implant will make a p well i mean p diffusion and active plus n implant will make n diffusion for the diffusion only it's also for the body contacts as you'll see now Okay, now time for the body contact and the remember why the body contacts are used it's to regulate the threshold voltage. Um, so why are we using the body What those active? Uh, I don't really know. This is process specific. Uh, for professional PDKs, you would have to specify specify things as active for it's it has to do with manufacturing <coughs> process but it's not necessary really for functionality um, now let me first go over some of the most useful sh keyboard shortcuts and operations say you want to extend something uh, the command is called stretch you, you, just, you just press on S this is very useful so if I press on S and I click on this border I can either make it shorter or longer. Uh, if I want to extend the whole whole area, I just I press on S and then I select an area like that. And then I click somewhere and I can extend it. And the whole thing will grow. Uh, what else do we need to do? Uh, say I want to chop chop something off off of here. I can do uh, edit basic and chop. First I select, like you should always read here to, to know what to do. It, it tells me to point at the shape I want to chop. So I point here and then first corner, second corner and it chops it. And then if I don't want that I can just delete it. Uh, I'm still in chop mode. To get out of mode, you just press escape. Okay. So, so far, do you prefer this or magic? This? this? That's good. Okay. Now, for the body contacts, for N well, we use an N implant oh, to be in rectangle mode. So N implant. The width here, uh, the minimum width for a contact is three lambdas. <coughs> no, it's ninety nanometer. Actually, the the rules here are complicated. There's a website you can you can check all of them, but the easiest way is just to run the DRC, as you'll see now, and it will tell you all the errors so, so that you can fix them. So this is an N implant. I also make an active layer on top of it. This is for the body contact. This is for the body contact. Yes. How many Um you mean the width? Yeah. The active should cover the whole, the whole implant. So they, sh they should be on top of each other. And the, um, oh, the so contact. Size. Yeah, okay, I'll I'll tell you now. Um, by the way, for any contact below metal one, you use this contact here. Between metal two and metal one, you use the via one. And between metal two and metal three, use via two. But anything below metal one, you use this contact. Okay, and here we can either create a giant contact like that, or create small ones. Uh, it's probably better to create smaller ones. And finally, we make a we make our metal layer here. <coughs> 